Hi y'all and welcome to my channel. Watch with Dean. I cannot believe I'm saying this. I've been scared to hop on YouTube for the longest time, but I've decided to make the jump in. So I have been a movie lover um, since I was a kid, since I could remember. I love movies. I love getting lost in movies. Um, same for TV shows. I love, like before the, the term binge watching was a thing, I binge watched. Um, binging was a thing for me before binging was a thing. Um, so I decided to create this channel. There's not a lot of black representation on YouTube when it comes to uh, really diving into shows, movie recommendations, TV talk, things like that. So, here I am. Alright, so, um, also movies and TV is a way of, it's definitely a way of self-care for me. When the kids go to sleep, I know mamas can relate to this. When the kids go to sleep and you shut that door. Home free! Demon home, home free! Demon home. home free! Fan groups, and I'm like just blocking them all out so I don't, so it doesn't get, um, so the ending doesn't get spoiled for me. So I'm hoping it's going to be streaming very, very soon. That's really what I want to watch. But we're going to just pick a regular, regular movie today. It's, um, again, it's Elevator. It's on. Amazon Prime, so if you have Amazon Prime, go ahead and cue that bad boy up. It's almost time for the kids to go to sleep. It's still sun up, but bedtime routine is starting, you know, shower, brush their teeth, get them ready for bed, and once they're in bed, my routine starts. So, so if you are ready to wind down with me and watch a good movie with me, go ahead and cue up that movie and stay tuned. Don't forget to, if you love the content, don't forget to don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. in bed because sometimes the little one still comes out of bed and I have to put her back and so lovely back and forth back and forth back and forth for a couple of uh, minutes so hopefully they are going to sleep I have the camera so I can keep my eye on them I'm about to put my food in the oven go ahead and take my bath and I'll catch you guys right before the movie good she only got up twice but in the time in the mean in the time that i got my pizza in the oven and took a shower she got up twice i put her back to back to bed Ooh, what is going on here yeah. and we're gonna do a very quick a very quick um skincare just because my skin has been kind of acting up so i'm giving it kind of a break I'm going to do just some Taylor's facial toner. Usually I use the glycolic acid. I've been using glycolic acid lately, which has been really good. But I don't want to overdo it, so I'm going back to my regular toner. This is a lot gentler on the skin. I'm still trying to get these YouTube angles right. Okay, so I'm using 
my favorite oh my god i'm almost at my favorite uh serum i go between i go between this one and the fresh beauty serum sometimes the And then for cream, I'm using Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. It's, I mean, look at that. Goodness, so freaking hydrating! Like, oh. I have a lot of really good cream. This is definitely in the top five. This one and the glue recipe for like um hydration is so good. But. Yeah, I'm going to use my patches tonight for sure. Um, Because it's given she is tired. I'm tired, but I didn't have to give that though. I didn't have to give that. Alright, let's go pop. Let's go check out. Let's go get dressed and get to this food. <laughs> So, no good movie night is complete without a meal or some snacks and a good drink. So, normally I have myself like a glass of wine, especially after a long day. But today I'm having the Olipop Classic Root Beer. I've been trying Olipop lately or Olipop. I'm not sure if Olipop or Olipop. I've been trying Olipop lately and it's really good. I thought everybody was just hyping it up for hyping it up sake, but it's actually really tasty especially if you have a craving for soda it's a really good alternative i've been ha i've been having the strawberry vanilla but it didn't have it this time in the store um well i usually get it off amazon fresh or at whole foods um so i'm trying the classic root beer and then i picked up this vegan pizza from whole foods also i'm gonna show you um i kept the box so you guys can see what it is it's american flatbread handmade wood fire thinning crispy pizza it's completely it's vegan so I'm, just, I'm trying it for the first time, so let's see. Usually pizza does not taste good, but I saw this on another vlogger's vlog um, the other day, and um, it looked pretty good. I added the mushrooms. They didn't have much of it. It was a cheese. I added the mushrooms. Yummy. Should have added a little bit more tomato, like a little bit more tomato sauce, but it's really good. It's you will definitely taste that it's not regular cheese, but it's for a vegan cheese, it's pretty good. Not a whole lot. That's not bad. Daddy has been, I feel like Daddy has been destroying my gut lately, so. I didn't lemon the dairy, but I am a pasta and pizza hoe for sure. So I'm not giving up those two things. So I have to find alternatives. And this is a pretty good one. That's the first time I'm trying the root beer one. Ooh, I think it's probably good if root beer full with this with like some dairy free ice cream. That would be so good.
Oh, you can tell me that's not like regular root beer. That was really good. Alright. That one for The vibes are stuck. And let's see what we got going on here. Thank you. 